Budget Angler here. Um, little weekend session. Uh, well, not a whole weekend. It's actually just a Sunday afternoon. I did plan to come out early, but um, I overslept and now I've ended up making it an afternoon session. I'm at a top secret little river that I've been told not to reveal um, on pain of death. Well, I'm not that serious, but um, I've been asked not to, not to reveal its location because it's a very small, very short river in South London. Um, and it's one of these places I've wanted to try. I mean, it's, it's tiny. It is, I mean, I'm, you know, hopefully this won't give it away, but I mean, that's, that's what it is. Um, I've had loads of minnows, uh, a little chublet and quite a decent chub, to be honest, just on a piece of luncheon meat. Um, I, I've got a little stick float on, just, just having some go with some budget bait, got some bread, pound, one pound, 25 can of luncheon meat. I've got a few half dead maggots, bit of old breadcrumbs from the freezer for, for bait. And I'm just using my little, uh, my little cheap, um, Shakespeare telescopic that I got for holidays just cause I can pack it in my pannier and get off on the bike, which you can see chains that bench behind me. Um, yeah. And, and, uh, yeah, so it's been really good. So I'll show you the footage of the fish now and hopefully I'll get some more. Um, but, uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting to get a video out of this to be honest, cause I just sort of, I got here and all I could see was just this little trickle that's about four inches deep. And I thought, oh, there's nothing in there. And then I've seen, I've seen some massive roach. I've seen some massive chub. Um, it's teeming with minnows. It must be so healthy. It's fantastic. So, um, it was a bit of a step to get here. The trains aren't working today. So I've ended up on a 12 mile bike ride as well. So I'm a bit knackered. So I'm really pleased we've got a fish. Anyway, I've waffled on for too long. So I'll see you in a bit. There you go guys, look at that one, absolutely cracking chub, just on a little piece of meat. It's just such a, such a shallow little dribbler. I just speculatively put it in and he shot out from God knows where and grabbed it. I know, it really shocked me actually. It's absolutely fantastic fishing. This is great. The smaller the river, the, the better the fish, I think. This is brilliant. Not quite as big as the other one, but a very, very nice fish anyway. So clear here guys, you can actually sight fish even these little tiddlers, just, just, I just saw him just, uh, just nip the maggot, it's brilliant. Well guys, look at that absolutely cracking perch. Of all the things to catch, I wasn't expecting that. I mean, there's a few inches of water there. It's just in those tree roots on the other side. This is just fantastic, absolutely brilliant. I'm well chuffed. Well guys, as you can see, I've had a little move. Um, I'm in a bit of a wooded area now. Um, I was chatting to a, a guy walking his dog and he said he'd had a few um, sessions in the woods and had some nice tension roach out so um, I found a little swim he said there's only really two swims and he said there's a couple of deep bits by tree roots and I think I found it although if it's eight inches um, you know it's a day so it's not not what I'd call a deep deep hole exactly but um, yeah definitely definitely a very challenging the fish are so spooky the, you know just the littlest twitch of a maggot past their nose and they're away you know they just scatter um, and there's plenty of them in here you know sort of this chub sort of, you know, 10, 12 inches long, just in like this tiny little, you know, look, it's like just gravel. Um, but they're not having any of it. They, as soon as you sort of, as soon as the rod tip even goes up a little bit, they, they're gone, you know, and I've tried creeping through and, you know, coming up on them from the undergrowth. And as soon as just a tiniest delicate little 
just a little just a little splash on the water even if it's sort of you know 30 foot away and I'm going to try and trot down to them they 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 get their wise to it so uh, definitely challenging and but you know I'm going to come back and and have another bash um I don't think this is the end of the video anyway I'm going to go and see if I can find some more spots to be honest it's still relatively early so I'm going to you know give it another another couple of hours to be honest um but yeah I'm glad I came I've, I've had some fun and that little perch in the woods was brilliant bloody hell that's a carp I can see a big carp down there was it a bream There you go guys, how about that then? What a cracking rod, that is absolutely brilliant. I thought they were roach down there, but they're rod, that is, they're fantastic. That's a cracking rod. There you go guys, cracking, another little chub there. They now fight like Billy -O. they're brilliant. It's only a little one and he went absolutely mental. They're cracking fish, really good fun. Out you come, out of there. Oh shit. That's better. There you go guys, what a beautiful chub, that's an absolute cracker. Not, not one of the monsters that I know are in here, but really, really brilliant fun. Just a free line bit of, um, bit of, uh, Luncheon meat, God, I had, to, I had to crawl down the bank then to get him. So I've uh, stung myself to death on whatever this plant is in front of me as well. But a lovely chub, absolutely brilliant. And I've just seen a nice carp down there as well. Only a small one, but it'd be great fun as well. There you go guys, another cracking roach there, well, not another one, that's the first one I've had today, I'm really pleased, it's brilliant, that was just on a free line bit of uh, lunch meat, I'm glad I've done away with the float to be honest, it, I can just keep sight of it and it just disappeared and the line went s sort of screaming off and, and back he goes. Another cracking roach there guys, not quite as big as the last one, but still a really, really nice fish. That again was just on a free line piece of luncheon meat. They're brilliant fun. Another little rod there guys, the fins on this. He's got the little black spot that you see that on the broads, but I don't think it does the fish any harm. Um, but the, the red fins on these are just amazing. They're so, so red, they're beautiful fish. Nearly missed this one guys, beautiful rod, another cracking one. He, he was just, he just grabbed it as a big chub swam underneath it and my eyes were sort of drawn to the chub, but absolutely lovely. Another clonking roach there guys, absolutely brilliant in the little stream, they're great fun, they really are great. Oh my god, that was not what I was expecting at all.
Well guys, look at that. My very first ever wild river tent, just on a tiny little bread flake. That is fantastic. Just as the sun's come out as well. I'm absolutely chuffed with that. I can't believe it. It's my ever, first ever river tent. That's brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, I think that's a good chub there, guys. Oh no, and it's a carp, I think. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Well guys, look at that, a beautiful river common, my very first river carp as well. I'm absolutely, oh, I'm, I'm a bit, <laughs> my adrenaline's going mad actually. I put my um, polarizing glasses on so I could, all I could see was just the, um, just the baits and I just saw this sort of dark shape and grab it and I thought it was a chub and I couldn't see anything until I took the glasses off and then of course that carrier bag was attached to it. Oh, blimey, I'm, I'm, I'm actually feel a bit, oh, I haven't had a fish since that tension. I'm, it's been about an hour and that's really set my adrenaline going. I'm almost a bit shaky, to be honest. That is absolutely mental. Well, guys, um, I've calmed down a bit now. Um, I've just, I'm going to call it a day. It's, it's, I've, I've stayed too late. Um, well, I've, I've just seen another another carp in the swim uh, <laughs> i can't i've got to go i've got too much to do um what a day first river carp first river tench only a little tench but absolutely brilliant this is just like a tiny little stream this is just yeah i can't believe it um i'm i'm well happy well chuffed um, i see these things go on facebook and i think oh, i'll never be able to do that um just you know a bit of lunch and meat free lined little telescopic rod 13 quid reel um yeah you know it's it's what this is what i wanted to do you know this is what i wanted to get across just you know just budget angling you know just just i would never have bothered coming out here um years ago i wouldn't have you know cycled 12 miles just to go to like a little stream on the off chance but now i can't think of anything better um i'm i'm i nearly didn't come today as well i was i was a bit knackered after i was out fishing all day yesterday um on on another on the on the ingerborn yesterday and um i basically messed up the settings on my gopro and filmed it all in fast forward so i totally wasted a day really and, and lost loads of footage so that was really annoying so today has absolutely made up for it tenfold i'm 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 thrilled um yeah i've totally lost I've, i was going to say some other bits about the other fish i caught the charm and the perch and the rod and the roach um yeah all great all brilliant um yeah out, out of the south london rivers i think today i've enjoyed the most to be honest hopefully it's come across um because i know sometimes <laughs> my videos at the end of the day I'm a bit knackered and I look at them when I'm editing them I think god I look like a right misery at the end of there so um yeah I'm leaving with a smile um hopefully you are too and if you have enjoyed it please hit that thumbs up please drop me a sub have a look at the um social media stuff and I'll see you guys in the next one cheers guys fish on <laughs>